So hey boys and girls, Q here. How's everybody doing? Um, I had a, a subscriber recently ask me what I thought was a very good question. He said, would you trade this for this? Or more to the point, he said, why did you do that? Why did you trade in your uh, Harley Davidson Pan America for this uh, Husqvarna Spark Pellin 401. And so the answer is money, complexity, and weight. So the first is, is money. Um, the uh, Pan America is a very expensive bike, and I did not have the cash on hand to just shell out 20 grand to buy it. So uh, it was purchased uh, with, a, with a bank loan car payment basically and you know at 20 grand it was as expensive as a car loan uh, you know it was quite expensive it was over $300 a month per rent and uh, so that was an expense on top of the payment for the BMW R18 and two cars and everything else I mean you know I'm not rich <laughs> So the second reason was complexity. And here I have to say, Harley Davidson disappointed me. I'll tell you more in a minute after I finish blasting down this dirt road on the Svart Pill. I love this bike on a dirt road. It just goes. It's so much fun. Yeah. Oh my god, I swear that last little uh, acceleration there gate got me a little bit of a chubby. I got a little bit of a chubby going on. But complexity, no. The Spark Pillin is not a complex bike. Yes, it's water cooled and it's got a high compression ratio. It's you know it's a KTM racy engine, which I love. Um, the digital display is is probably the worst, most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. But man, it's it's there's no traction control, there's no modes, there's no adaptive ride height. And the Harley Davidson just kept throwing error after error after error. And I don't see Harley releasing software updates to cure this problem. So, you know, the Pan America was, was a technological marvel and a, a fantastic bike. 150 horsepower. This bike here is 43, 44. But oh my gosh, this Fart Pillin is, is even more fun. I'm not afraid of dropping it. I'm not afraid of dumping it. I don't have to. It's a, it's a six thousand dollar bike, not a twenty thousand dollar motorcycle, and it just doesn't have all the complexity of the Pan America, which which after a while, frankly, just just got tiresome. And the third issue I just touched upon, and that's the weight. Of, of the bike. I, I forget what the Harley weighed. You can, you know, Google it. 550 pounds, something like that, wet. This fart pillin is 340 pounds wet. You know, curb weight with gas and oil in it. And, and uh, cooling fluid. Cooling. I mean, that is 200 pounds less weight. 200 pounds. Um, so, I mean, it's so easy to push around and get up on the stand and work on and and just just have an absolute ball on like I say if I drop I haven't dropped it yet and I've got almost 2,000 miles on it just in the, like the month or so I've had it uh, it's I just love it it's the bike I want to get on it, it's more comfortable than the Royal Inter uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 the, the saddle and the, the riding position and so forth and uh, and just fast and fun and uh, boy, I love this motorcycle. So that's about it, boys and girls. That's a little bit of riding the Spark Pillin and why I would trade in and did trade in a Harley Davidson Pan America 
for a Husqvarna Spark Pillin 401. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.